I have a very important question to ask this morning. What is your spiritual escape plan? When this world starts falling apart, we see it right now, how are you going to get out of here? What are you going to do? Are you following God's word and what God asks you to do? Or are you just sort of winging it and going it on your own, trying to, try to navigate life to the best of your ability? Hi, I'm Craig Fritzley with the Sanctuary in Syracuse. And it's important that you have a plan, especially when emergencies or crises has come. My friend, we see this world and all of its systems starting to fall on each other. There are wars and rumors of wars. There are um, economic pressures and all the different things that we see coming, coming to play right now in our world. And people without a plan panic. That's why it's important that you have an escape plan. Here at the sanctuary, our exits, our emergency exits are clearly marked. We have fire extinguishers and access to the fire alarm near all the entrances and exits. And it's important that you understand that in an emergency, you follow the plan. You get out of the building. You keep yourself and your family safe. And that's what the Lord wants us to do spiritually. He wants us to understand that there is a place of safety. There is a place of refuge. And you've got to follow God's plan. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse number 13, it says, There is no temptation taking you such as common to man, but God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. God said, there's a plan. And you're not going to be overcome. You're not going to be overwhelmed by the temptations and the trials and the tests that come if you follow God's plan. God will make a way of escape with everything that happens in life. So it's not too hard. You can handle what's going on because God will help you. Now, if you try to do it your own way, my friend, you will be burdened and, and you will be bent down by the cares of life. And Jesus told in the parable that the cares of life rob us from the fruit that God wants to produce from the seed of the word of God in our lives. And so we need to cast those cares upon him and follow God's plan. You can't stand on your own. You're going to fall. But you can handle it when you walk with God. Allow the help of the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you through every situation. Allow God to give you the wisdom and the knowledge you need to make the right decisions. So look to him today and follow God's escape plan because God has promised that he will make a way of escape with every temptation and trial. The next verse, verse 14, he says, Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. Don't worship idols. Whether it's your phone, whether it's your social media, whether it's another person, whether it's your career, follow God's escape plan and keep him God in your life. Keep him first, and God's going to help you with everything. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you share these with others. If you have a question or want to leave a comment below, that's much appreciated. And join us on the next devotional. God bless.